What's up everyone? It's Matthew, ModernAesthetic.com, and I'm just going to show you guys how to make a quick um, poker spreadsheet. So um, this is my 2016 poker spreadsheet. So uh, main thing I have uh, my uh, title up on the uh, top, Bovada Poker 2016. Um, I play poker exclusively on Bovada. Um, you can merge these cells right here by just highlighting the cells you want to merge. You go to Format, Merge Cells, and then Merge All. That's how I was able to make a title like that. So um, moving on to the um, the spreadsheet, I have total profits, the date I played, hours, game, profit, loss, daily, hourly, hourly rate. These are uh, these first here are mostly geared towards the cash games, um, and then tourney buy-in, tourney winnings, tourney profits. I do uh, like to play four tables of cash games as um, as well as have uh, tournaments going on the side, on um, especially on Saturdays and Sundays. Now, um, when I work during the week, I work a nine to five job. Um, I prefer not to play tournaments because I want to, um, you know, work on different things and it just takes up way too much time. So I might log a couple hours tops cash games. Um, but, uh, just going right into, um, right into, uh, um, my formulas and what I put down. So, uh, tourney buy-ins. Um, so yesterday I played a $5, um, today's, uh, January 2nd for me, um, uh, so yesterday I played a five dollar and fifty cent tournament. I made a video for my blog, and um, actually ended up ended up finishing third in that tournament. It was a four table sit and go. So um, my tourney winnings was twenty nine dollars and seventy cents. From there I got my tourney profits of twenty four dollars and twenty cents. So I'm going to show you that formula. When I click into this cell right here, I get my formula up here um, equals. I4 minus H4, so I4 is my tourney winnings, $29.70 minus what I bought into that tourney, which was $5.50. So I got my profit there. Now today, January 2nd, had a, a much worse day. My tourney, um, my tourney buy-ins, I played a full uh, schedule of tournaments. So I bought into $123.20 worth of tournaments, mostly um, between $5.00. $5 tournaments, and I believe I played one $20 tournament with a couple of $15 and a bunch of $10 tournaments mixed in. And uh, no tourney winnings at all, so I didn't I didn't make the money in any tournament, so profits negative $123.20. So um, if we come over here, you see I have my tourney buy-ins, tourney profits, tourney winnings. Um, tourney buy-ins, these are my totals over here. My tourney buy-ins, the formula, um, that's uh, row H. Or excuse me, column H. I do uh, the equal sign sum and then parentheses H colon H parentheses in this cell, and that's going to bring you my my total for this whole column. Um, I do the same thing for attorney winnings. This is going to bring me my whole column I, and then attorney profits is going to bring me my whole column J. So these are my uh, my totals over here. And um, so let's go over to the cash games. Uh, yesterday, January first, I did not play any cash games. I um, even though I did play three hours or roughly about two hours in that tournament, um, I only I want to keep the cash games um, my hourly rate for cash games. So I, I didn't enter anything in the hours field yesterday. Uh, so today I played six and a half hours total. I always play 25 no limit. Um, I may at some point move up this year. Um, I really got to see how I feel, but I'm pretty comfortable playing these limits. I really use cash games to just supplement my tournament buy-in so I can um, mitigate some of the variance in tournaments. So today, um, six and a half hours, I profited $62.97, and then I have my daily hourly rate of 9.68. So when we uh, click into that cell, cell G5, I have a formula which is equals F5 divided by D5. So my total profit for the day divided by my hours, and then I get that daily hourly rate. So I had a very good day in cash games today. And then we come over here, um, total profits. Now, this is actually total profits for both cash games and tournaments. So on this, I'm down negative $36.03. And then I have my cash game profits, $62.97, my total hours. So for this, um, I do... The total profits equals sum of the um, column F plus the sum of column J. That's going to give me my total profits. And then I do my uh, sums for the columns for my cash games the same way as um, I did for uh, my totals for my tourneys. Now down here, total hourly rate. So for this, 
the best way to do it is to divide your cell for your total cash games divided by your total um, hours. So I have here um, A6 divided by A8. That's in this uh, A10 cell here, and that's going to give my total hourly rate. So um, as you play, you do have to update your hours, your profit for cash games, and your um, your tourney statistics. Um, I play on Bovada. I'm going to show you really quick basically what I do. to. Um, I click on my account, and um, once this pulls up, you go to transactions down here. And this is going to give my transactions for the last day, for the last 24 hours. So um, click on my last 100 results. And go to the, uh, the first page of this. So essentially what I do is I come through and I take these uh, multi-table buy-ins. I calculate out all my buy-ins for multi-tables. And then I throw them on um, my attorney buy-ins. And then I take all of my results for any turning winnings I throw them on my turning winnings and then from there so I got negative 123 um, and 20 cents so essentially what I do um, I started this day with a uh, $1,997 and 77 cents so basically um, I pull out a calculator and um, I'll do 199 oh, excuse me let's see um, so actually, um, where I'm at right now, 1937.54, that's what I finished out with. So, um, what I can do to calculate this out is I can do, um, 1937.54 plus 123.2 is my, uh, attorney profits that equals 2060 and I'll take 2060 minus 1997.77 equals 62.97 so essentially that's where I come over here that's my profit loss for um, for the day in cash games so essentially you take the difference um, if we come back here you see the net activity was 6023 so um, essentially if uh, we profited 60 or we lost we only lost 6023 if we take 123.20 and we get the difference of that, it should be 62.97. So that's an easier way to do it. Um, sometimes that doesn't work out because sometimes you may have the net activity. Uh, let's say if um, I played uh, real late yesterday, that will still factor in in my last 24 hours. So um, I don't always do that. That's why I went all the way back to the beginning. But um, you can do that if you want. Basically, though, you do have to update all your um, all your information. But um, uh, one more thing I want to show you. Uh, so down here I have uh, first quarter, which is January through March, second quarter, April through June, and then so on, or excuse me, April through um, July, and then so on. Um, if you just right-click in the like, first quarter after you create this, and then you duplicate, it'll it'll duplicate, it'll say copy of first quarter, and then you just click into the, uh, the next one, and you rename it to second quarter, and then so on. If you want to do that, or if you want to keep it all in one sheet, I like to break them down to multiple sheets. Um, to get uh, a better understanding of my spreadsheet um, the dates are very important because let's say if I um, start to tinker with my play maybe play a little aggressive or play a little tighter um, I want to see what that yields me in terms of my outcome so a uh, spreadsheet is very important to um, understand where you're at your profits and it's a very good tool for um, beginning poker players that are um, playing online you know you want to know where you're at so um, I hope this video was a help for you um, if it was, you know, give me a, give me a thumbs up and check out some more of my videos. All right. Um, modernaesthetic.com. Follow me, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. All right. Peace.